Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to tell you about the new limited edition and limited released pens available at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland for July of 2019. July 4th, Independence Day in the U.S., has a Hercules pop-up book available at both parks, limited edition of 4,000. The vintage vinyl featuring Oliver and Company, also available at both parks, limited edition of 3,000. And then at Disneyland specifically, this is one that I just found out about when I went to uh, make our one sheet for the video. Um, they have been doing a, it's going to end up being a six pin set celebrating Mickey, available at pop-up Disney stores in downtown Disney. S <laughs> and it's a, a series of pins featuring the letters uh, M-I-C-K-E-Y. This is M-O-U-S-E? No, just Mickey. Oh. Um, this month is C. It is a limited edition of 2000 and retails for $16.99. So this is going to be available at that pop-up Mickey experience that they have in California that we don't get in Florida because, you know reasons maybe we'll get something like this for the 50th possibly uh i'm curious so what do you call it if you're not in the united states july 4th like is it like insurgents day or something or treason day moving on <laughs> no like if you're in the uk does, does the uk celebrate treason day i don't think the UK celebrates celebrates it as anything. If you're from the UK and we haven't greatly offended you, Let leave a know. comment down below letting us know what, if anything, you call July 4th other than July 4th. We probably offended them, you know, 200 and something years ago when we committed treason. Anyway, next on uh, July 11th, uh, coming to both parks will be the next pin in the Kingdom Consoles uh, series. This one is going to be Tailspin, limited edition of 4,000 and uh, features Baloo and the Tailspin. Did you ever watch Tailspin? Maybe once or twice. Can Not... you sing the theme song? No. Oh, E-O, Tailspin. Oh, E-O, Tailspin. Never mind. Uh, on that Disneyland, you're going to have the happy 64th birthday Disneyland pin, which is a limited edition of 2,500. And also the Crest of the Kingdom, next in the Crest of the Kingdom series, which is the Small World limited edition of 2,000. July 18th has a limited release pin for the live action Lion King movie. Mm -hmm. It is available at both parks. Do you like this pin? The image on the Disney One Sheets makes it look very flat and very monochromatic. It's all brown and slightly lighter brown. So maybe in person it will look a lot better. But right now it just looks like a big brown blob. No. I think it's going to be bronze. I think it's going to be like that brushed bronze kind of a look there. It could go either way. It could be a really pretty pin or it could be a really ugly pin. Either way, don't sweat about it because it's limited release. So it'll be around for a while. Yep. So, yeah. And then the rest of the pins are released on July 18th. They're all Disneyland exclusive. You have the iHeart Gaming series featuring Pocahontas, limited edition 2500. And then three pins uh, for Galaxy's Edge. Uh, one is the First Order Reconnaissance Stormtrooper. One is the Resistance Reveal Han Solo. And one is the Droid Schematic featuring K2SO. All of these are limited edition 1500. On July 25th, uh, we have the next in the pop-up book series, which is The Hunchback of Notre Dame, limited edition 4,000. That's going to be available in both parks. We also have the Mulan Character Connection mystery pin set. Is that a mystery pin box? It's the pin. Yeah, it's the puzzle pieces. Just like the Coco and the Up ones before it, it's going to be a single pin to each box, probably about 20 bucks, and it's the puzzle pieces that go together. Uh, for this particular set, the regular pins are a limited edition of 900, and the two chasers are a limited edition of 500. Again, that is available in both parks. And for Walt Disney World uh, exclusively, we're getting the Countdown to Galaxy's Edge BB-8 pin which is a limited edition of 3000 and also getting the next in the magic of honor series. This one is going to be star tours. That is a limited edition of 2000. I kind of feel like maybe they could have uh, delayed that or switched it with another pin so that the star tours one, which is a star Wars related thing came out in August when galaxy's edge opens, but that's just me. So I think the official word from Disney 
is that Star Tours is a ride that you would find in a theme park. Galaxy's Edge is an outpost on a planet that you go to to uh, ex you know inside the Star Wars universe. So they're very much treating it in the vein of like all the cast members in Galaxy's Edge are in character all the time. So they're you know they're citizens of Batu. They don't say things like cell phones. They call your cell phones a data pad. They don't say dollars. They say credits. It's like it's very much you know themed. Whereas Star Tours is a ride, a theme park ride that you get in line for and ride. And so that seems to be the line that Disney's trying to thread there is that this is a ride that you find in a theme park and this is a completely immersive environment that you're doing separate to that. So that's fair. Yeah. Makes, makes sense. Sorry, let me get off the soapbox. There we go. And uh, July 25th, continuing on, as I, after I get off my soapbox there, continuing on on July 25th, there are pins exclusive to Disneyland. One of them is the annual pass holder exclusive, the bi-monthly train series. This month is Goofy. Well, this bi-month is Goofy. Is you say that? This bi-month? Anyway, this, this, this one is release. Goofy. <laughs> sure. It's a limited edition of 3,000. And the next pin of the month, the Windows of Magic, is Baloo. Looks like it's got Mowgli on it too, but yes, blue limited edition of 2000. There we go. And those are the ones that are on the one sheet. So the one sheet from both parks, that's how we, uh, we see them there. However, when we were at the pin event in May, May, uh, here in, at Coronado, uh, there were four additional limited edition pins that were up on the boards for July and they are all attraction anniversary pins. So there is a 25th anniversary pin for Tower of Terror, a 20th anniversary pin for Rock and Roller Coaster, a 30th anniversary pin for Splash Mountain, and a 40th anniversary pin for Big Thunder Mountain. And I noticed none of them made it to the one sheet. So doing a little bit of Googling, we discovered that most of these rides did open in July. So Rock and Roller Coaster, obviously, um, July 29th of 99. Yes. Tower of Terror, July 22nd of 1994. Mm -hmm. Splash Mountain, July 17th of 1989. Yes. And Big Thunder is a bit of an enigma because it has different anniversary dates depending yeah. on which there's, park's version you're talking about. There's actually four versions of Big Thunder Mountain at the Disney parks throughout the world. And the only one that was open in July was the one in Tokyo. And it's certainly not its 40th anniversary. So the... One at Disneyland opened September 2nd of 1979. That is the one that is turning 40 years old. Magic Kingdom here in Florida opened the year later in November. So that one is only 39 years old. And then the one in Tokyo or, you know, July 2nd of recent. More recent than that. I, I don't remember the date. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. So our thoughts or my thoughts, my guess on this is that these pins are going to be available at these attractions, like in the gift stores at these attractions, it's like the Typhoon Lagoon one was for it, like the Wilderness Lodge one was only available at the Wilderness Lodge. I think these pins might show up in a very limited quantity at the attractions. At the pin event, we did not see the back of these pins, so I don't know what the edition size of these are. I know the Wilderness Lodge one was 1500 Right, but that one was on the one sheet. Yeah, so it was, it was. Yeah, you're right. It may be that they made proofs of these and then decided not to make a full pressing yeah. or it may be that they're planning on surprise releasing them Could we be. will have to see anyway so the pictures that we have them came from that pin night the ones that we've been showing you here came from that pin night so we honestly don't know uh, so if you see them that's where they're from uh, now you know and knowing is between 48 and 51 percent of the battle anyway uh there we go i, I don't know why i clap stop it Make I will it, make stop. a conscious effort to stop. <laughs> if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to follow us on the socials, we have links down below in the doobly doo. <laughs> Leave a comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what we can do better. Um, we're always open to constructive criticism. Uh, and until next time. See you real soon.